Good morning. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Ricardo. How are you? I'm fine. Very good. Yeah. Good to see today you. He's a, was, he's a, a, was a good day today. Oh, really? That's good. Why is yeah. that? Because it's cold and uh, I had I had to to work in, in home. This okay. day for, for home office, this day for me. Oh, perfect. With the weather, a nice cup of coffee. Yes, yes. I enjoy nice. the cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Hi, Carla, Jordana, Nelson, Inmar, welcome. How are you? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How was your day today? Anything new? Sorry, Jeff. How was your day today? Anything uh, new? Okay. Uh, but so, uh, a little busy. <laughs> well, okay. But that's good. Yeah. Busy is good. Yeah. What about you? Um, how, how was your day today, Carla? Um, there was anything new. It was, uh, I think, a productive day. And everything's good. Great. That's very good to hear. Jordana? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Uh, my day today was better than yesterday because uh, wind stopped today. Like yes. no more wind or strong winds as before. So temperature was better today. Yeah, a lot better. Well, you know, in San Salvador, it was very, maybe, maybe it was cold. Definitely it was very cool, but it was cold in the morning. So I can't imagine Today we, I work, uh, well, I usually wake up at 4.40 because I start teaching at five. So uh, it was like nine degrees. Wow. It was really cold. Uh -huh. Yeah, extremely, what is all about? <laughs> yeah, like unbelievable. That's nice, that's good. Yes. All right, let me see if anybody else is joining in now. Um, do you recommend or does anybody have like a, a good TV show or movie? Really, I hate Netflix now. I thought that Netflix like five years ago, it was the greatest invention because, oh my God, I can watch anything I want. And now I spend maybe one hour you know, thinking of what to watch. <laughs> yes, I, I uh, today I didn't work, so I was okay. I'm gonna watch some movies, but nothing good. Do you recommend any good TV shows or or? Or a good movie? In Netflix, blacklist. I I am um, oh. I am watching. Uh, He's oh, I, I love the blacklist, but yes. you know what? That I, I don't watch it on Netflix because I watch it on online because I'm up to date. Ah, mm -hmm. and I think Netflix is until season six or seven, correct? Yes, yes. Because uh, right seven. now, okay, yes. right now is season eight, so mm -hmm. I am in season eight, episode four. What uh, season? Okay. What season are you in, Ricardo? In the number number four in this moment. Did you see the episode when he comes to El Salvador? Uh, no, 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 uh, at this moment, not. Okay, there's an episode that he comes to. I mean, it's not about El Salvador, but he's looking for a doctor. I, and you know, I, I yes, I, rem it, I, rem I remember that, 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 that oh, yes, yes. He came I to that. Mention in the, in the. <laughs> yes, because he was looking for a specialist doctor and then. He said, La Universidad Nacional of El yes. Salvador. And... <laughs> yes, for research. <laughs> yes, it was good. You, you, I, I recommend you, you should watch that show. The Blacklist is very good. 
Yes. Very watch, exciting. watch the first episode. And then if you don't like the first episode, you're not going to like the show. Yes. But if you watch the first episode, you're like, wow. Yes. It's a very, very good show. At this, okay. moment, at this moment, I don't know what is the relation that the, 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 the Reddington the, and the, the, King. Yes. Yes. The, the two persons, I don't know yet. <laughs> yes. You will know that maybe in season seven. Ah, uh, yeah. Wow. It's called, it's called the blacklist. Mm. Uh, the blacklist is the biggest criminal in the world the most wanted criminal in the world and he makes a pact with the fbi yes and he tells them i'm going to give you the biggest criminal in the world but you don't do anything to me and then the fbi says no we already have the 10 most wanted and he says no because it's like he is is world worldwide criminal so that's why it's called the blacklist because he has the blacklist of all the criminals. Yeah. But he is good and bad. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. the reason why he does that, he gives all the criminals is because he's given them his competition. Yes. So it's it's good. I recommend you if you yeah. if you ever want to watch a good entertaining show, it's the blacklist. Yeah, I recommend too. Yes. All right. But after that, wow, look at Ruth. She's laughing. She's having fun. Hi, Ruth. Tell us, why are you Hi. having, what are you watching? Are you having fun? Hi, <laughs> uh, my brother is in the fun, he's on video. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> He, is, he lives in Boston. <laughs> oh, he lives in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, good. Um, Barcelona won today, right? Yeah. What? Barcelona won today, the yeah. Copa del Rey, right? That's very good. I didn't watch it, and you know I am so angry because... I didn't work today. I actually had all the time to watch it, and I totally forgot. And uh, yeah. a historic, historic game. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it uh, after class tonight. Maybe it's 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 gonna. Hello, Ingrid. Hello. Michelle Montoya, Jose Aguilar. Jose Aguilar, you look like a very clean cut person. Do you know what is a clean cut person? Okay, it's an expression. It's, it's maybe an adjective also. Okay, imagine you have a daughter. Yes? And your daughter is going to introduce her boyfriend to you. So who, imagine your daughter brings Gio and she brings Josue. Who would you most likely, who do you like automatically? Imagine Gio all in black, long hair, like. <laughs> and then here comes Josue, very happy with glasses, a nice shirt. Okay, thank you. No, yes. Huh? Maybe, oh. yes, maybe sometimes, yes, we are only look for the, the book for the. I don't know, the front of the bike, right? No, the of bike. course, of course, yes. Yeah. I, I, I've, al I've always been the, the black sheep, like, oh my God, that's your boyfriend? Really? Yeah, because <laughs> I, I, I never dress formal. When I had a girlfriend, you know, like I never dressed formal. I, ne I never shaved. You know, I was normal as me, myself. So clean cut is a person who's always like dressed nice, and I'm not saying it's, it's, I'm not saying Gio's bad, of course, right, Gio? Don't, don't, no offense. I'm you just saying, it, I'm just saying like the different, different <laughs> um, vibes. Like if you say, uh, how is he? He's, he's very clean cut. So like, he's very uh, clean cut. Yeah, cut. clean, cut. clean. Cut. Cut. Like a cut. Ah, cut. Okay. No, cut. Uh -huh. yes. okay. <laughs> clean cut. Corte <laughs> Yeah, if you tra if you traduce translate it, it would be corte limpio. 
Um, or the lingua, right? It's so strange. Yes, but I, I, it actually refers to everything. He's like a very clean cut person, you know, like. Yeah. He's the, like he's, a, the, he's the type that every father would love, every father or mother. <laughs> Or like sometimes yeah, I, I say like Josue. The person, the, the, the person, the, the person. Yeah, I, I could say like Josue, you are the son my mother always wanted. Yes. Okay. Okay. Teacher, um, mm -hmm. when I was in the university, I wanted to use Rasta in my hair, <laughs> but I, I didn't. Yeah, oh. because I had to shave it. Shave it after and and oh yeah <laughs> yeah no me veía pelón honestamente <laughs> when i was in high school i had purple hair green hair pink hair every color um i remember i i shaved my eye my eyelashes my oh, eyes. really really yeah <laughs> i never seen people do that here but yeah i make lines painted my nails black and i was i was definitely not clean cut do you have the really no but yes too Yes, I do have tattoos. I have two. I have this very oh. stupid one, the, <laughs> the barbed wire, <laughs> el alambre de púa. But listen, in, wait, what, wait. in your in your in my arm. Yes. But in my, in my ah. defense, in my defense, I got that tattoo in 1996. Yeah. <laughs> so nobody had tattoos in that time, and then it, then it became like everybody had it. So. I, I have I have that and an agnostic tattoo and that's it. But then, you, you know, can you can make it another. Yes, I always yeah. say that. I always say that that I'm going to cover it and then do this and that. Yeah. But but then it's expensive. Yeah. Tattoos are expensive, and when I have the money, I said no, man. I I it's, I don't I don't put it as my priority. I always yeah. put priorities like, no, I can't. I can't. I owe me one. But I don't know when, where, when. Oh, you don't have one? No. And I was um, almost do it, but I couldn't because I had an emergency and the, the money, I have to use it. Yeah. But get a tattoo like in the back, you know, I love my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like, I am a tattoo lover. Yeah, I, I, I like, um, there are some very good artists here. Yeah, here that is the, the, the girl in um, that is in Metro Sur. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is you a, know, you know, I know this is bad, but sometimes when I watch the news and I see Mareros with tattoos on their face, if you admire the art, I admire the person that tattooed them. I mean it's stupid what they tattoo, you know, like the 18 or 13. But when I look at their tattoo, I said, man, that's that's a Good. I mean, that's a good artist, whoever did that, because the details are very, very good. Unfortunately, it's very stupid what they tattoo, but, but you know, there yeah. are some good artists. Gio, do I you know, have tattoos? I know one no, from you that is Wait a minute. Loquillo. G oh, Loquillo, he's famous. Yeah. Gio, you do not have a tattoo? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Why? You're surprised. Would you like to have one? Yes, why? Why? <laughs> yeah, why? The only reason I could think of is that you're you don't like needles. No. I don't know why. I like tattoos, but I don't have any. <laughs> Would you like to have one? Mm. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe in my eighties. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yes, the next eighties, <laughs> late eighties. Yeah, in your mid eighties. No, no, that's good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Does anybody else here have a tattoo? Let me see. Um, Inmar, do you have a tattoo? No, no, teacher. Right. I don't have anything. I remember. I think I was like. And I hate that kind 16, of question in the, from the interviews. Really? They ask you that if you have yes. tattoos? Um, I'm not doing, I'm, I'm not because I don't care. But, um, but in some process, um, they, yes. asked, they asked me for that. But you know, I, I've seen that, that now the companies are more open yeah. to people being tattooed. 
And that's good. Yes, because that is not the reason. Yes, Ima, that's um, good. And the Gantz, now I, I, I know that they don't have tattoos. <laughs> they don't get tattoos anymore, right? Yeah. No, they yeah. do, but it's subliminal. You know, I'm going to tell you a quick story. A long time ago, I used mm -hmm. to teach in this place and then I used to give private classes to this student. And he was a very nice person, but there was something about him that was like, so eventually he, but he, he didn't look at all like a gangster. He was a big time Marero. And when he told me like, because I had him for four hours every day for like three months. And one time he confessed to me, I am a Marero, you know. <laughs> and my reaction was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but he told me that the reason you know he told me like the story it was very interesting because I I was like a news reporter I asked them every question like so what do you do to go in you know I, I didn't ask him any stupid questions like do you know that's bad I mean they know that I was more interested in in the questions like the narration yeah. like what do you do how do you escalate you give uh, someone, for example. Yes, and he tells me like if you're a big, big time member, like I remember every day we would read the newspaper, and then, and then, um, you know, suddenly I remember that we read this interview and two brothers were killed while they were getting water from the river by Mareros, and I tell them. You know, like two brothers, I mean, the, the newspaper makes it look like very, no, like, oh my God, they just went to get water and the Mareros killed them. And I remember I asked them, what is a gang, what do they win by killing innocent people? That's not, in my opinion, that's not very gangster, <laughs> you know? And he says, and I remember he told me, look, I do not know what happened, but maybe I have an idea. He, he told me the problem is that when we're in the maras in the gangs, a lot of people like to hang out with us. Do you know what is hang out? Salir? Yes. yes. Uh, they like to be with us and they, they feel like they're armareros and we let them because we, we, we have discotheques, we have bars that when we go, they, you know, we don't pay anything. But eventually, after a lot of time, then we ask them, hey, are you in or out? And that's when the majority say, no, 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 I'm out. I, I was just, you know, vacilando, you know. And then, and then, you know, they tell them, hey, you can't hang out with us. If you're going to continue, you're going to go in. So when they see the, the, the situation very serious, that's when they leave. And that's when they become and they go to church and then they start becoming good sons. That's why the mother always cries. Oh, he wasn't in gangs. He was in church because they told him, no, man, you are in like it or not. You're in or we're going to kill you. So he told me maybe those two brothers, they were they were hanging out with Mareros. And when 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 the Mara asked them to do something, maybe. They didn't do it, or they said, no, I'm not in this. So then they got killed. And I said, wow. Ooh. It has logic. <laughs> but, but what I was going to tell you is that he showed me his tattoos. Because he told me there's two types of mareros now. The ones that you see them, and they are obvious. Like, ooh. like the ones that you watch on, on the documentaries. Or the ones like him, that he didn't look nothing, nothing, nothing like a Marero. In fact, he looked, he, he, he was a very handsome boy. I mean, he had like green eyes and he looked like he was from a rich family. And he showed me he had uh, three stars on his leg. And uh, the stars, it was a six point star. And it was like shooting stars, you know, I said, this is my Mara tattoo. I'm, he said, what do you see from that? I'm, I just see stars. I only see three stars. He says, count the points. And yeah, 18 points. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, okay. Okay. So he, so he told me that's the new, the new wave now. 
you know, he's, look. yeah. And and the tattoo was very cool. It was very like artistic. And I said, oh, okay. So maybe that's why I understand like now that companies are more careful with tattoos and they show me your tattoo. <laughs> you know, he showed me on his, on his, he had a tablet and he showed me a video of a party they had. It was a crazy party. Do you know that a lot of players from Alianza were there? I told is that Frito still alive? It's a yeah, it's a, yeah. They hang out with us sometimes and because we like them, their party and they like to go to our parties. We give them everything. Oh man. So after that, no me meto con aliancistas. Like, <laughs> like hey. Yes. Be careful, yeah. Yeah, viva Alianza <laughs> or something. No, but, it, it, you know, it, I remember, like, every night I came home fascinated with my wife. I told her, look, I don't know if I'm excited or scared <laughs> because he would <laughs> tell me many things, many secrets. But eventually, um, to make the long story short, he told his gang that um, he didn't want to, I mean, he did not want to be in the gangs anymore. He He was... He said, this is too much for me. And in the gangs, you have two ways, like for a better life. He, he told them that he got his papers and he was going to leave to Canada. And I, and I asked him, so do they let you go? And then he tells me that the members, the, the medals, the top, they have to analyze how good you were to the Mara. Imagine how stupid this is. If you were productive, okay, yes, go and have a good life. If you were not productive, then you have to do something. If not, you know, I don't know, go kill somebody or go kill five. Or, or... So, and I asked him, what did you do? So, oh, no, I had no problem. <laughs> I was a leader. <laughs> so I didn't ask him anything else. Like, okay, he did something bad. <laughs> but um, he told him that he, he left. Um, but he was, that's why he took private lessons because he strictly went, he was from La Santísima Trinidad and I was teaching him and he, he was living in a volcano. His father was like an ex diputado. So he was strictly from his house to the class because if somebody saw him, they could kill him because he lied to them. I remember in Plaza Merliot, I went and I took a picture of him because he one day he went with a big jacket, a big heavy jacket, and we went to the green zone. And I took a picture of him. So he, you know, he looks like he was in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I told my wife. I don't know if I should be excited or scared because I'm I'm learning a lot. <laughs> but it was very interesting. But that's where I learned about the new. The new tattoos, the, the subliminal. And I, I, I don't know what happened to him. I had him in Facebook, but then I decided not to have him because I don't know. I don't want to do that. Why? I don't need to have him. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I think he's doing well. He was, a, he, was, he was only like 23 or 24. Very young. He was very yes, young. Yes, very young, very young. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I hope. No, but I, I do believe him that he, he wanted to change his lifestyle. Well, I, when I, when I was in the school, I grew up in Santa Lucia. Yes. Many years ago. So I have a partner. And because I studied in the school in that neighborhood. So you had a partner or a, or um, a classmate? A classmate. That is a classmate. Um, <clears throat> And the and the boy was a um, jefe de clica. Oh really? Yeah. He, I, I, the the things that I knew that he was killed because he he wanted to go out. But uh, uh. he did. But uh, he was uh, because my sisters live there, so they knew him. But he died in front, and he was killed. In front of her, in front of his mother. Oh man, that is really sad. Yeah. But you know, I could understand. Uh, it's not. It's not that. Um, it's not that I say it's okay. But I could understand why a young kid wants to be in a in a gang. 
because according to what he told me in the videos I saw, man, you have everything. You go to you go to discotheques and then the waiters, oh my God, they give you the tables. Hey, bring me this, bring me drugs, bring me liquor, bring me women. They have everything. And when you are 18, 19, that's all you want. <laughs> and another point I mean, that, that, that is, I don't know that is uh, true or not, but there is a sense of to belong some someone or some kind of groups because of these skills um, came from a... Um, Familia dysfunctional. I don't know how to yes, say that. Yes, dysfunctional families. That, yeah, that's very... what I was thinking. Yeah, I think I think <clears throat> you are what you raise. Lo que uno cría. Yeah. Um, you know, you gotta have good principles. Yeah. And you know, I think that's one of the problems from Mareros that come from the United States. Because in the United States, gangs are very different. Um over there, it's like, it's okay to be a gangster. I mean, it's no problem. Like, oh, I mean, they can walk down the street and nobody would tell them anything. Like, oh, just normal people. Not like here, you know, when you see a, a gangster, like, we, we <laughs> get away, get away. Yeah. But in, anyways, my favorite was Will Salgado. What? One time, one time they asked him, I love that. I love Will Salgado. He's so funny. <laughs> they asked him, Will Salgado, if, if you become president, what will you do with Maras? And I remember he said, mire, when you see a cockroach in your house, what do you do? You step on it, right? <laughs> y cuando ve un coquero, que hace? Fumiga. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like he was saying, I will kill all of them. <laughs> He's funny. I think that's the solution. We need a we need a Hitler in El Salvador, a, a good Hitler. All right, uh, listen. Uh, so remember, yesterday we we're talking about uh, verbs that go with problems. Let's see the video. Okay. Recognizing problems. These verbs are all. This is where we stopped. Remember the, the about these verbs: aggravate, avoid, cause, deal with. Remember that there's a difference between deal and deal with. Yes. Yes. Identify, ignore. Remember what is run into. Who can give me an example of what run into? Run into. I ran into my ex yesterday, mm. and it was awful. Oh my! Really? It happened? <laughs> no, it was just an. Example. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> but in the way you said it, you said it like, "Oh man, yeah. I believed you." <laughs> yeah, I thought that too. <laughs> yeah. Is it your I was, yeah, I, I was going to ask you, tell us what happened. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, good. Yes, I ran into. All right. Okay. I remember one time I, I was working in this company and um, we had like the general. He was the account manager. He was. No, like, allá afuera, la, allí la, 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 he was he was like the top boss and we won this lunch at the beach but this account manager he he was sick like for four days he called in that he was very very sick etc 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 so we went to the camera and for for a day and a half and we <laughs> we ran into him into the account uh -huh. manager. And when we saw him, like, oh, you're busted. Of course, he got fired. It was very sad because he had a very good job, a very, I mean, he had a very good salary. He was making like $3,000 maybe. And they, and, and but the, the reason is that he called in and he was very sick. And, oh, I don't know if it was him or his wife that was dying or something. And um, no, they actually found him in the Cameron with a employee. 
in the swimming pool with beer. I mean, er er everything bad you can imagine, that's how they found him. I think he has a story to tell. Like, and, and my boss ran into me. So unfortunately, we ran into him and he was fired immediately. That's run into. That's something that was not planned. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. All right. And then we have solve. Oh, we have that, right? Okay. Um, let's go back to deal with. Yes. Who can give me an example with deal with? I used to deal with angry customers when I was working in teleperformance. At teleperformance, in teleperformance, is that the same? Oh, very good. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that right now. The difference between at and in. Usually, at it's for places, right? Into. Hold on. Into. Let me write it down. Okay. Look, um, I have one of these boards. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that I wrote? Okay. Yes. No, I can see just like the yeah, black. you really can't see it. Black but thing. You can see it erases. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And then if you press the button here, it erases. And I get used to this because sometimes I work as a translate, as an interpreter. Okay. And man, that's that's difficult <laughs> because to remember, like I start like, okay, okay, boom, 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 boom. So then I don't forget. So let, let me write down in and at all right that's a good question i'm going to teach you the difference between that okay good okay. um who can give me an, also an expression like hey deal with it let me give you an example and i want i want you to give me an advice okay mm. geo give me an advice Ooh. Ooh, what happened uh oh man i broke up with my girlfriend so i saw her with another man when yesterday, ooh, a week passes by and I'm still depressed. Oh, I love her. I love her. I want her back. A month passes by and I'm still depressed. What can you tell me, Gio? Find another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. You Go know. for another one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you have to tell me. Yeah. Okay. Hey, man, deal with it. Sorry, man. Yeah. But you have to deal with it. Yeah. It's like you get out of that problem and find another one. It's like, like to confront your decisions. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you tell me like, hey, sorry, man, you got to deal with it. It's like you, yeah. you have to get out of that. <laughs> I want that too. <laughs> yeah, so cala. So cala. <laughs> yeah, deal with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, deal with it. Go to a different bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, let's do the in, on, and at. Let's do in, on, hey, I can't I'm going to teach you in, on, and at in two forms. Hold on, in, on, at. Um, at. Okay, we have to understand that is, we use this, um, we use these in two forms, in time or in place. Okay, this, these are called prepositions. We use in, on, and at. So there, there are two ways of using in, in time or in place. On, we use in time or in place. And at, we use in time or in place, okay? Let's start with time. Time. Don't, okay. okay, right now, don't think about place. Let's just talk about time. In. The movie will start in five minutes. Is that approximate time? Right? In okay. five minutes, in 10 minutes, in one hour. On, we use for days or months. It's also time. Like, hey, on Tuesday we have an exam. Okay. 
okay? And at is very specific. At is a specific time. What time does class start? It starts at eight. What time does the seven o'clock news start? Seven o'clock. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trick question. I want to hear someone say at eight. Okay, now let's go back to in and on. Let's say we're talking mm -hmm. about days or months. When we say in, we are generalizing. Jordana, when is your birthday? That's a tricky question. Okay. Uh, May 15. Listen, birthday, not birth date. <laughs> birthday. My birthday? Okay. Yes. Birthday, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. birthday. No, there, there's a difference. Sometimes people get confused between birth date and, birth and birthday. <laughs> birth date would be May 15, 1980, 90. Okay. Something. It, okay. Yeah, 19 something. <laughs> but okay, good. I said birthday. So that's good. May 15. May 15. Ah, so, okay. So your birthday is in May. It's in May. Uh -huh. But but look at look at how I'm gonna use the difference between in and on. Your birthday is in May, or your birthday is on May fifteenth. What is the difference between in and on? On that we include the date. On, Besides being, the months, we include the date. I'm being specific. Yes. So in generalize general speaking. When is Christmas? Uh, it's in December. December. In December. In December, right? Or yeah. if you want to say on? 24th. December 24th. December 25th. Mm -hmm. Yes. On December 25th. That's the difference between in and on. So in is more like general. On is specific. So like my birthday is in November or my birthday is on November too. The day of the dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. A specific day. <laughs> yeah. oh. When I was okay. a little kid, I suffered a lot with my brothers because they pick on me. They tell me, my mom says that we're gonna cut your cake in the cemetery and oh, I cried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah she says that we're gonna go visit grandpa and then there we're gonna have your piñata deja el niño but now it's cool because it's a holiday yeah I, I can Mine party the payday. day before yeah yours isn't a payday there's no excuse not to give you something <laughs> When is when uh, when it's not Sunday? <laughs> yeah, when it's not Sunday. No, but still, when it's not funded by event. Um, you get paid on Friday. Get paid earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so in in a nutshell, do you know that expression? In a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a resume. Yes. What is the difference sure. between? Yeah, what is the difference between in, on, and at when we refer to time? Uh, if we're talking specific. specific or general speaking, let's say. Yes. So which is more specific, oh. in or on? Oh. On. 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 Right. on. Yes. So you cannot say, Jordana, your birthday is on March, on May. Mm. Okay, you say May. it's on May 15th. On May 15th, I see. Or your okay. birthday is in May. Birthday is in May, mm. got it. Okay. Okay, good. Do you have any questions regarding in, on, and at in time? No, in time. Okay, now let's do it in place. Okay. Okay, in, on, and at in place. Let's start with on. It's sobre, 
really that's that's it sobre where's the cell phone it's on the table um where is where's my wallet oh it's it's on the desk where are the keys they are on the hanger okay we understand yes. that right okay now in and at in in a place My wife calls me, David, come and pick me up. Okay, great. Yeah, boy. Where are you? Oh, I'm in Metro Centro. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Así la voy a hallar, right? Hmm. Hey, where are you? I'm in Metro Centro. Okay, and I said, but you know what? Metro Centro is big. How do I know where to look for you? Oh, I am in Metro Centro at Simán. Y después la llamo, hey, ya estoy, I am in Simán. Okay, I am at the children's department. It's more so, specific. Exactly. At is more specific. Okay. In, in, in places is in a specific place, but at, I remember, is a, for example, I am in, or I am at, shopping mall because it's yeah. uh, in general i mean the two the two are for a specific place i can say i am in metro centro or i can say i am at metro centro but the difference is that every time i say at i am giving more information i am being more specific yes okay. it's like um, it's like that I'll, i think that's a good example where are you oh i am in metro centro okay good uh, where exactly Oh, I am at, at La Neveria. Oh, let's say that. Okay, let's say that. Okay, where are you? I am in Metro Centro. Boom, llego a Metro. Okay, aquí estoy. Where are you now? Oh, I am at Simán. Okay, good. Llego a Simán. Simán is still big. I said, okay, look, I am at Simán. Where are you? Oh, I am at the children's department. O sea, con at voy a terminar dando hasta el último recurso. Yes. <laughs> and within is just like, in is just with the general. Okay. So, Jordana, you worked in teleperformance. Yes. At building A, building B, or right at you, the first building at the first building right. yes yeah mm -hmm. so in this case it's in teleperformance yes all right so that's the difference class um uh, in on and at people always say es que me confunde porque in puede ser sobre en adelante en hora en tiempo that i say man yeah don't don't, don't complicate yourself in only has okay. two uses time or place on only has time or place, at only has time or place. Got it, thank you. All right, cool. So Carla, Halloween is on October or in October? Um, um, because we know already it's 31 October. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Let me change. Independence Day in the United States. It's in July or on July? In July. In July. In July. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Because if you're not very sure the day, but you know the month, I know it's in July, but I don't know when. But if you know the date, on July, on, on July 4th, on, on, on the 4th of July, yeah, so on July 4th. So in this case, Carla, uh, Halloween is in October. October, October, okay. on the 31st of October. All right. Okay, do you understand? Any questions? No. 
All right. That's a very, um, this also even native speakers, sometimes they don't know when to, uh, like they don't know how to explain this. They, when you, when you ask somebody, hey, what's the difference? How come, how come sometimes you can say, the dog is in my house and in five hours, the movie will start. Well, I mean, what, what is in? Y ahí se quiebran, like, I don't know. I mean, you just say in for everything. <laughs> you know, you know, people say you say in for everything. You say e on, e at, and you're like, oh my God, please stop asking me because I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So okay. when I learned this, I'm like, oh, okay, really, it's really not that difficult. It's, it really is. It only has to use this time or place. Specific or not as specific. All right. Okay, um, let's continue. Watching. Often used to talk about problems. Aggravate a problem. Avoid a problem. Cause a problem. Deal with a problem. Identify a problem. Ignore a problem. Run into a problem. Solve a problem. Look at the following picture. Type two sentences using any of the verbs previously given. With the verbs previously given, what what comes to mind right there? I I think that's me right there. <laughs> it's like yeah, I see fire, but si no se apaga in two minutes, then I'll do something. But if not, we're really shaking too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's ignoring all the problems, all the problems he, there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He should avoid. Total. <laughs> you know, he should avoid walking on the floor because it's wet. Well, you know, basically his wife or his mother should avoid leaving him alone. Yeah. Because he, he's a big mess. Okay, let's see. Let's do the next part. Knowledge check. Read the following sentences. Notice the word or phrases which are in brackets. Misspelled. Replace them using the following verbs. Aggravate, avoid, cause, deal with, identify, ignore, run into, and solve. Okay, for example, number one, it says, oh, it says just type the verb. No need to retype the entire sentence again. Do not worry about the capital letters or periods here, right? Okay, it says, my friend never does anything about his problem. Ignores. Ignore. 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 Ignores. 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 In third person, right? Yeah, he's a third person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Maria can look at a broken bicycle and find the problem right away. Identify. Identify. Identifies. Identify. Yeah. Good. Mm. My sister is never afraid to try to take care of a difficult problem. Deal with? Deal, deal, with. deal, deal with. Deal with. Deal with. Deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. Jill doing always, I'm sorry, Jill Dong always makes his problems worse. Aggravated. Aggravates. Aggravated. You put it in past? Yeah, because they, they say that the verbs must be con conjugated. Okay. All right, let's do it. Ruby always follows the recipe closely to prevent problems 
when she cooks. Avoid. Ruby always avoids. Avoid. Yeah. Ming always. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I just remembered a joke right now. <laughs> do you know? Is, do you know how Chinese people name their children? <laughs> I have an idea. Wow. <laughs> With a casserole, you throw yeah. throw a casserole. <laughs> you throw it in the air, <laughs> and the sound it makes—that's the sound. That's the name of your son. <laughs> that's so cruel. And I just remember that. Ming Dong Ching Chong. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get so in trouble for that. But no, I'm angry with Chinese people for eating that bat. <laughs> so Ming always, here's another racist joke. Do you know when an Arabic person becomes an adult? What? Do you no. know what? Do you know when an Arab person becomes an adult? <laughs> Does it have with a bomb? No, when they wear the diaper on the head. <laughs> they change the diaper to the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever eaten Arabic food? Yes. Oh, yeah. Be careful with that. It was you, disgusting. You got to have a strong stomach. Because no, that, that it smells like a orine de gato. <laughs> yes, it's very, they use something. Well, it I couldn't eat it because yes. it sounds was... terrible. <laughs> no, you know, actually, I kind of liked it because you uh, say so you have to have a strong stomach because they use a lot of spices, spices. Yeah. a lot of curry, mm -hmm. but a lot, a lot of curry. So you got to have a strong stomach. I remember it was a soup, but the smell was down in the gut. It was, yes. Yeah. So it says, Ming always unexpectedly encounters problems when he tries to fix things. <clears throat> That's run, so, uh, run into. Run into. Run into. So always runs into. Okay, Carla is great at complete. Um, completely fixing any kind of problem solving Sol solving all right let's do solving next it says al is the kind of student who always makes problems for teachers causes i got wrong causes. that one causes. Causes. i got that one wrong i got that that one wrong yeah why? What did you put? <laughs> all of that. All of them. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always get wrong. <laughs> Who always causes? Let's see. It's just, it's all... all right. Oh, mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. I mean, I yes. can understand what about the ding sentence, but I mean, I understand because I know the meaning of the words, but I think that some connection word is missing between let me see where is thing ah, right there his problems worse that's why it doesn't oh, make that number four to me. yeah number four yeah i you know i would say like jin jill dong always is always or always abrogated his problems to worse i you to know worse. yes okay Worse. Yeah. Cada vez I would say. Peores, peor. yeah. peor. peor. Two worse. Two worse. Two worse. Okay. Yeah, because to me something was missing there. Like I could understand, but got the idea, but I thought something was yeah. missing. No, that's good. That's a good, good, good observation. Um, what is closely? Is number comment? five. Ah, no, okay. Closely. Um, Más de cerca. Es a detalladamente, a creo. Okay. Almost the same. Follows, follows. So if I ask you to tell me what is closely in Spanish, there is a specific word. What is it? 
precavido. Ah, no. Algo paso a paso, no sé. Es, es como casi igual. Apegado a la... A... Ajá. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you a tip. Every time you see a, a ver, um, an adverb finish in L-Y, is in Spanish, entamente. Mente. Mente. Uh -huh. Entamente. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, closely. Cercanamente. 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 Yes. Slowly. Lentamente. Lentamente. Okay, good. Yeah. And the difference is that these are called adverbs. They describe a verb. An adjective describes a person, an object, right? I but, always got confused with that. <laughs> oh, okay. So adverbs, they describe a verb. Uh -huh. A verb. So for example, <clears throat> the turtle walks slow or slowly? Slowly. Oh. Because you're slowly. describing walk. Slowly, because I'm describing walk. Walk. Slowly. Ah. Or if, okay. if I want to say just describe the turtle, I say the turtle is slow. It's slow. Okay. okay. Um, that's the difference. Every time you see an adverb finishes in li, it's describing the verb, not not the um it's an adverb. It's an adverb, yes. And adverbs describe the verb, not verb. the not the person. And even native speakers can get confused from that because a, a, another person would have told me, hey, Ruby follows the recipe close. Um, no, it's not correct. And that's the difference between good and well. well. Okay. Do you know what is the difference between good and well? Uh, well, <laughs> well is bien como bien hecho. Es mejor que, que bueno. <laughs> yeah. Well is the adverb. Good is the adjective. Oh, okay. Good is the adjective. So my mother cooks well or my mother cooks good? Cooks well. Cooks well. Cooks well. Uh, yeah, because I'm describing, I'm not describing my mother. I'm describing the cook. She does. Cook. Yeah. So my mother cooks well. Although a lot of people will say my mother cooks good, man. And you know it's understandable, but sometimes if you if you want to know if you're a if you are a grammar junkie, do you know what is a grammar junkie? Grammar uh, junkie. Like a fan, maybe fan of grammar. No, a grammar. I mean, junkie is somebody addicted, right? But when you say grammar junkie, or is when somebody like se fija in grammar, like. Le gusta decir las cosas correctas. I'm a grammar junkie. O cuando alguien está hablando mal, uno lo corrige. Sheldon, do you know Sheldon? Yeah. Yeah. The big <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's a, he, well, he's everything, but like, remember Penny, every time she says something bad, he always corrected her. Mm -hmm. It's a noun. You can't say that. It's this. He's a grammar junkie. <laughs> okay. So what, what I was saying is like, yeah, sometimes we heard people say, man, Messi plays good. And yes, it's understandable, but grammatically it's Messi plays well. Mm. My mother cooks well, or my mother is a good cook. Good so, cook. Yeah. So if I, in this case, good is describing cook, my person, my mother. But if I say my mother cooks well, well is describing cooking. Cooking. Teacher, yes. but you can say my mother is a good cooker, right? It's a good cook. It's a good cook because you're describing your mom, for example. Exactly, exactly. Okay, thank you. Yes, but if you say my mother cooks well, it's different because you're describing the cooking. You're, you're describing a verb, not a person. So from now on, every time you see a, something finishes in li, in Spanish is el entamente, and that's actually describing a verb, not a person. Y acuérdense de eso, that's a perfect example right there. The turtle is slow, or the turtle walks slowly. Yes? Okay. 
All right. Okay, class. Um, man, it's nine already. So um, uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Eight. Okay. All right. I hope you learned something new today. Okay. Have a good night. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.